Praise the Lord, people of God. This is Angela Shelley with Pray to Win. Today we are praying and inviting divine favor into our day, divine favor into our lives, divine favor into our families' lives. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for this divine appointment. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just radiate and make your dunamis power so tangible during this prayer. Lord Jesus, we reverence you. We thank you. We acknowledge you as God. We acknowledge you as our Lord. You are the only God. You are the way, the truth, and the life, and no man can come unto the Father except through you. And we are very clear about that, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your death, burial, and resurrection. We thank you that it is because of the blood that you sacrificed that we are able to even come into the holy of holies and live. So we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Jesus, for you are the living word. Lord Jesus, I ask that this prayer would be pleasing in your sight. For your word says, Jesus, that that if we abide in you and that your word abides in us, that we can ask whatever we will and it shall be given unto us. So, Father, I thank you that we abide in your will. So, first and foremost, Father, we position ourselves before you. We come before you with a heart full of praise, thanking you for everything that you've done, for everything that you've kept us from, from everything that you brought us through. Father, we thank you for being a God of the living. We thank you that we are here to pray this prayer. We thank you that you have gathered and assembled the saints to magnify you and to glorify you, to speak your word into the earth. We thank you, Father, for who you are. Lord God, and we also come before you with a heart to say, Father, we repent from any sin that we know of and any sin that we don't know of. Father, we ask that you would cleanse our hearts for your word promises that if we would confess our sins, then you would be faithful and just and you will forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, I thank you that it is through the blood of Jesus that we come before you asking that you would forgive us. And Father, any sin that we know of, we confess before you right now. We repent, Father from anything that we have spoken that has not been of you. We repent for anything that we have agreed with that has not been of you. We repent for any thoughts that we have entertained that were not of you. We repent for any disobedience, knowingly or unknowingly. Father, we repent. And Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, we ask that you would reveal and uncover those things so that we can walk circumspectly, that we can walk according to your word, your will, And we thank you that you don't require us to do it on our own strength, but you give us the strength to do it. So Holy Spirit, I thank you that you are our comforter, you are our help, you are our teacher, you are our friend, you are our confidant, and you are our intercessor. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence and we thank you so much that you said we can come before you with our daily problems, with our everyday problems, and you'll help us with them. So I thank you so much for that. So right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come before you, knowing that we are now in right standing with you. We actively forgive anybody that has done anything to us, That Father, because we know that if we don't forgive them, you won't forgive us. So we forgive anybody who has done anything against us, anything to us. We word commands us to love our enemies, to bless those that despitefully use us. Father, we forgive them right now intentionally, and we thank you that your grace is right here to do it, to enable us to do so. And if there's any unforgiveness that is in our hearts, Holy Spirit, we ask that you would uncover that as well. So, Father, we just ask, according to your word, that you wrote and that you spoke in Leviticus chapter 26, where you said that if your people would adhere to your your commands, that would obey your word and be obedient unto them, that you would cause favor to fall upon them. Father, I thank you that even now that these blessings apply to us. Father, I ask that you would turn your favor and regard upon us, that you would make us to be Ephraim over Manasseh, Father, that you would favor us above and beyond. Father, I ask for supernatural favor. I ask for supernatural, unusual, uncommon, strange favor, Father that you will clothe us in your favor, that you will clothe us in the beauty of righteousness and holiness, that you will clothe us in obedience, Father, so that we may be walking epistles of your goodness, of your faithfulness, of your blessing, of your word, of your joy. 
Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we declare that there will be peace. Father, we ask that there will be peace in our land. Our land is our family. Our land is everywhere that our foot shall tread. According to your word, you said that you would make that to be our land, Father. So we thank you, Lord God, that our jobs are our land. And we thank you that you make it to be peace right there. Our homes are our land and you make it to be peace right there. Our marriages are our land and you make it to be peace right there. Our children are our land and you make us to have peace right there. Father, we thank you that we will lay our heads down and we will be afraid of nothing because you are a God who is able to keep us and protect us to bring the things that have gone off track back on track father your hand is not short that your power is not limited Lord God there is no ditch too deep there's no way too far gone that you can't bring back father we ask that you put and keep our lives on track on the track that you would have for them father Father, we just speak over this day and we declare right now in the name of Jesus that our day is filled with the kingdom of God and your righteousness. For your kingdom is a kingdom of peace. Your kingdom is a kingdom of joy. Your kingdom is a kingdom of love and power. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that right now that these words are forming our day. Father, we expect divine favor. We expect divine favor on our jobs. Father, our businesses are our favorite, Lord God, that our, our jobs are favored, that our careers are favored, that you bless us and you cause our name to be great and you make us to be a blessing, Father, that we may give you the glory, not for our own sake, Father, but for your glory, that we may be a testament of the goodness of God in the land of the living. That those that don't know Jesus Christ as Lord may look at our lives and want to know what it is that we have, who it is that we know, who it is that is our God. That you will be our God and we will be your people. And you will make it to be known in the land, Father. We speak abundance. We speak that we have more than enough. Father, your word says we have all sufficiency in all things that we may abound to every good work. Father, we declare right now by your grace and by your mercy that we have more than enough. We have more than enough for our children to provide. We have more than enough for our families. We have more than enough money. We have more than enough peace. We have more than enough grace. We have more than enough joy. We have more than enough long suffering. We have more than enough strength. Father, we thank you that your ability is alive and at work within us, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you have not left us here vulnerable. You have not left us here weak. You have not left us here without our weaponry. We have not left us here without armor. You have not left us here without your blood. Jesus, you said that you have made us to be more than conquerors. So we go forth in this day knowing that we go forth to conquer. We conquer and we reclaim back that which has been stolen from us. We claim back relationships that have been stolen. We claim back finances that have been stolen. We claim back health that has been stolen. We claim back freedom that has been stolen. We claim it back, Father. And we say in the name of Jesus that this day, this day is blessed. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every plan, every snare, every dish that the enemy has set for us on today, he himself falls into it in the name of Jesus. We declare that today our lives lift up the name of Jesus. And we remember that we are Christian and that we represent the Most High God. Father, when we look good, you look good. So I thank you, Father, that your kingdom is reigning. We thank you, Lord God. We declare on today, your kingdom is reigning. Father, we thank you that today we declare victory over the enemy in every single area. We take it by force. For your word says that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Father, we take it today by force. We take our peace by force. We take our joy by force. We take our relationships by force. We take our marriages by force. We take our minds by force. We take health by force. Father, we thank you that you've given us the weapon of love. You've given us the weapon of peace. You've given us the weapon of your name, Jesus. And you've given us the weapon of your word. And Holy Spirit, as you lead us, we will activate any and every one of them on every front as necessary. Father, we thank you that the angels are activated to bring to us what is ours, to guard and protect us, to fight and defend, to war for that which is rightfully ours, legally ours by the bloodshed covenant of the cross. 
So, Father, this day has no choice to be blessed. Father, we declare right now in the name of Jesus, bad things might come on days, but we don't have any more bad days. For you are our strength. You are our joy. You are our peace. And in you we win. So we thank you. Father, we expect on every front to see your favor because you said that you would. So I thank you for it. We worship you. We praise you, faithful God. And we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory, both now and forever and ever. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. People of God, have a wonderful day. We're praying for you. Leave us a comment. Let us know how else we can be praying for you. And remember, if we can win the home, we can win the nation. If we can win the nation, we can win the world. Because we don't just pray. We pray to win. I'll see you in the next video.